Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part I Forgot. This is Ron Moore along with Raven Spectre and the returning Wii Guy. Greetings. I'm back. Yeah, Wii Guy has been gone for a while due to work. But yep. Now he's back. <clears throat> and I'm in the Sky World, Sky, whatever it's called, Sky Temple now. City in the Sky? Yeah, City in the Sky. And, whoa! Uh, Ridley, you're in the wrong game. <laughs> Dude, that that bird is way more. Actually, no, that's exactly it. It's a bird. Ridley's not a bird. Yeah. What oh, is Ridley? There's Jeff. <laughs> Forgot we nicknamed him that. The the city of Jeff is where we're at. Just all kinds of people sleeping in chairs. Yeah. <laughs> J Man tipping them out. And they fall down to earth. Yeah, that no that that was a really on steroids earlier. Jeez. Don't tell me I gotta fight that thing. But anyway. Nah. Probably a fluke. Now we're oh I thought we were gonna go in the temple. No. Yeah, this is the temple. Wow, this is a pretty peaceful temple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Shirley temple. Sh Ooh, I'll take three of those, please. Yeah. Shirley, you jest. Creepy don't, call, cook don't call me Shirley. Ooh, you bought a kettle? Oh, oh, it's oil. Yeah. It's like, I didn't know we were in Britain now. Yeah. I have a spot of tea in the sky. Alright, let's get out of here and finally enter the sky temple. Or the temple in the sky. It's the city in the sky. In the city, dun dun dun. Though city it's, of Compton, dun dun. dun. It's barely functions as a city, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. I believe if you pause, it will say "City in the Sky," which is, of course, its official name. Yeah. Well, I keep calling these places dungeons and temples in this game, but they're not really called that. They're like Goron Mines or uh, whatever else. I keep calling them temples or dungeons, but whatever. And it's still technically one of those. It's Dungeon Temple. Uh, there it is. Never mind. It's the name. <laughs> yep. City in the Sky. Uh, there ain't none of that in Breath of the Wild. There's so just if, shrines now. So if the propellers stop, they're going to fall. <laughs> the sky is falling. The sky is falling. You know what? That's a good question. Oh, but man. physics, how do they work? Jeff's everywhere. Game man's worst nightmare. This is a long but cool dungeon. Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, there's like scorpion. Come here! Okay, no, technically you're supposed to kill him, but he just drags him over here. Oh man, freaking uh, yeah. more hogs with the the spike shield. They thwarted your plans. Yeah. It was a thwart hog. All right, so now that we're in the ECW temple and progress further here, man, it's gonna take a freaking while. Yeah. You're, hey, isn't this a speed run? No, it's a slow run. Oh. I've been lied to. It's gonna take a breath of the wild. It's done. Thanks. <laughs> nice one. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Some peaceful music here. As I guess we're in Chicago. Jeez. Chic the windy city. Yeah. Well, this really grinds my gears. Are they metal <laughs> gears? No, I think they're they're clearly old and ancient. Yeah. So, you know, whatever gears are made out of. Yeah. Bronze? Well, getting gear. <laughs> getting gear. Getting good gear, gear. Yeah. Get get. <laughs> in case you don't know, we got Raven Inspectors. One did a video a while back, uh, talking about cheating in single player games, and he went on this little tangent where. You know, it's not just about getting good, and he makes fun of those people that say, get good, kid. 
<laughs> Doing his impression about it ain't about get good, get good, get good. <laughs> you it ain't got nothing to do with getting good. <laughs> well, that sounds that sounds pretty entertaining. Yeah. Well, the point is, it, cheating in single player games, you can do it if you want. It's your game. You can play it any way you want. Who cares about it? getting good? Just have fun. Yeah. Exactly. Although I did mention in multiplayer games, I was a big no-no. That's a you're just a dick if you cheat in multiplayer games. I, I can't stand when people do that. Right. Yeah, people would cheat against me in SmackDown vs. Raw, the first one where it became online multiplayer. Yeah. And I knew they were using turbo controllers to reverse every freaking hold I would try to put on them. And so I just got mad and said, you know what, I'm going to cheat too. So I got my own turbo controller. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I should. Nice. I mean. And, you know, like, yeah, I know you cheated, Ronnie. Yeah, but, I mean, a lot of them was doing the same thing. I was like, man, uh, I got to do something here to uh, win some matches here. Mm -hmm. And, oh, oh you, you stupid idiot. <laughs> you just made the list. Yeah, you know what happens when you fly into a bridge like a clumsy idiot? You just made the list. <laughs> Great, so what are we going to do now? Well, we got to figure that out later. Maybe figure it out right now. Let's see. Oh, man, yeah, this dungeon. I first got to it, man. I mean, I haven't played this dungeon since, jeez, December 2007. Man, it's almost 10 years ago. Oh, 10 full years. Yeah. Back in the day. It took me a full year after I got this game to beat it because of just putting it off and other stuff getting in the way and... When it comes to Zelda, it seems like it takes me forever to complete it. Like, the Ocarina of Time LP on my, on my ROM War channel, th about three years. Uh, uh, I think Length of the Past on the S2G channel took a little longer than it should have. If you remember We Guy, there was a drought there for a while in, in 2012. Yep. <coughs> and then, uh, sure do. Uh, this one right here, man, this hasn't been taking that long, considering how long of a game it is. And I got, I'm also doing Ocarina, I mean, uh, Oracle Seasons on the Ron War channel. I've worked on this LP since December. Yeah, and so, uh, more gear grinding. Are you still playing it, or did you have you already finished the playthrough? No, I'm still playing. I'm on, uh, I just finished the sixth uh, dungeon, the Ancient Ruins. Oh, okay. That was part 12. <laughs> I've also been doing that Throw since ahead. December, yeah. I need to get good and finish LPs faster. Mm -hmm. well, There's I, only so much time in the world, though. Yeah, that's true. And I can't be freaking world of long plays. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a team. At least a few people on that. Well, yeah. It can't just be one person. Well, we're a team, even though I'm the only one that does anything on this channel. But anyway. Yeah. Actually, Tibbs just started his own LP. He's doing oh. Majora's, he's doing Majora's Mask. So There's Zelda madness everywhere to these days. <laughs> it's all about it, man. Yep. Zelda hype. It's all about the games and how you play them. <laughs> and getting it's good. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's about, about getting control. good at them. Yeah. It's all about <laughs> if, if you cheat and uh, I fail. I hate <laughs> the game and you better get good. I fail. If you cheat, then you're going to get beat. Yeah. <laughs> beat, 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 beat. Go base side. Points of reference. Is that a 90s reference? Yeah. Okay, I've... Almost there. <laughs> Not wrestling reference. Anyway. It didn't sound like it, unless that was someone's theme. Well, there were male cheerleaders in wrestling at one point. That was like 10, 11 years ago. Ah, uh, the, the spirit squad. <laughs> yeah. Old Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, and his He's brother. He's come a long way. Nikki, Mitch, Mikey. <laughs> we are the spirit squad. Yeah. You know, Dolph Ziggler, though, went on to have a good career. Yep. Oh, I just, uh, I think I sliced uh, the Okoa over there. So in this game, if you try to kill the Okoa, with they all attack you just like the chickens do? That's worth trying out. Uh, no. That's a massive tube sock on the back of Link's head. <laughs> right? <laughs> Peter Pan reject. Hey, it kind of makes you wonder, why is it that he does he have such a long hat like that? I mean, is it supposed to make him aerodynamic when he's flying through the air, air with a hook shot or something? That's a good question. <laughs> it's a good look. <laughs> yeah, it makes him look like a hero. 
Yeah, you don't want like a beanie. That makes you look oh, dopey. Yeah. What's that A song? I want to be a hero. I need a hero. Uh, uh -oh. Ronnie, you should get off that. Uh -oh. Ronnie, Ronnie. Oh, why didn't you jump up there, you idiot? Damn it, Ronnie. You know what happens jump. to people that don't make the jump? They make the list. <laughs> Try this again if someone is trying to hack into something. I'm not just hacking right here. Uh, so got the ECW or the D Dominion rod. We got. When was, when was the last time you joined us? Um, uh, last month. No, it's probably like. February, maybe? Yeah, do you remember what part you were in last? Because I forgot. Uh, we, I, we were at uh, Lake Hylia, collecting the bugs, or killing the bugs. Oh, okay, jeez, that was a while ago. Yeah, that was like 4 or 15 parts ago. <laughs> yeah. This is part 27. Can't help it, man. Part 27, jeez. I think the most parts I've done on in any uh, LP on YouTube is probably 50 or... 50 something with Mario All Stars because I did all the games on that on that on that ROM. Mm. Makes sense. And other than that, probably Ocarina of Time Part 32 or something was you you and Jamie were in that final part if you remember. Yeah. 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 Speaking of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Star, Star Soldier been trying to get him into some projects but nope. <laughs> uh, I haven't talked to him in so long. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was uh, working. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, him and Kevin Owens are the same person, so he's busy. <laughs> nice. All right, well, it's the mini tornado here, a downburst. Or upburst. A microburst is what I meant to say. Downburst, what the heck? <laughs> Massive the, burst. Uh, uh, the tornado spin, or whatever it is from Mega Man. Yeah, the air tornadoes. You got the air tornado. You can get those in Oracle of Seasons. <gasps> yeah, the the the. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot what they're called, but like they look like air tornadoes, and they make oh, yeah. your yeah. Oh, uh, that was the cool. Oracles. Oh, nice. Nice. nice double kill. Well, the Oracle games were developed by Capcom, so that makes sense. Yeah, I never played Ages, but I heard it's freaking hard. Isn't it the same game? I mean, not the same game, but I mean, it's the same engine. Yeah, well, it's one for the ages. It, wow. Has it aged well? Yes, it's still a great game. <laughs> Is it hard for you? No. <laughs> of course not, because the Wii guy, think every game in five think, minutes. I don't think any Zelda game is really hard for most people, if you're familiar with, you know, those 2D Zeldas. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, Spectre, have you played it? Which one? Eight Oracle of Ages. Uh, no, I I haven't. I haven't played Ages or Seasons. I've I've, I've seen footage of them though, and I I know about them, but I've never yeah. played either of them. Yeah, I've never played Ages. I've had my friend a friend of mine, and then uh, people online say the same thing. It's freaking hard. Like, there's something different about that about that game compared to Oracle of Seasons. It's just a more I don't know how, what they meant by hard. Complicated hard or uh just Confusion hard? I don't know. Confusion hard. There we go. Probably just has a different bit of a different formula. Just a little bit. I, guess I don't like, know. Like, like Simon's Quest did from the first Castlevania game, people were disappointed. Uh, I mean, well, maybe. <laughs> Either I wasn't, because Simon's Quest was the first one I played. Well, that's that's pretty good, though. Yeah, and... Alright, this is fun. Just yeah. Let me go. You know what? You need to let me go. Because he's going to fall asleep while he's flying, then you're going to both crash and burn. Yay, another waste of time. <laughs> trying to kill him. <laughs> that is so wrong. Where are you going? Come here. Get over here. Yeah. That was your reenactment of Scorpion. Yeah. All right, come on now. <laughs> Just don't, uh, don't, uh, oh shit. I need to think of a pun. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. It needs to straighten up and fly right. 
I was doing <laughs> something about the wind, like, or something about, like, don't blow up. I don't know. Yeah. Don't blow it, Link. Looks like you're soaring to success. Yep. Fly like an eagle. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're going. We're, let's get some space jam. Yeah. You believe you can fly. <clears throat> I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> Come on and slam if you want to jam. Yeah, NBA Jam. That was a good movie. It's a good good movie. <laughs> space Jam. Oh, NBA I, Jam edition. Space. There we go. I was about to say. It's like, was that intentional? Sure. And oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this place. So, showing you. This is what you gotta do next. Ha! Huh? Go all the way down there. Well, you know the speed strat skills. Let's do it. Yeah. With my speed running skills. Look, all you gotta do is just fall and then do an air jump slash and get on the on the platform. Simple. All right, go ahead. Here, do it. We guys controller now. Uh, no, no, I, you pressured me. I can't. Ah, uh, see, look at that. Fail. I thought you can do it. Fail. Look, man, there's input lag over the internet here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work with this. Yeah, we're using the emulator that the NES had. Was it, uh, were you... Dolphin. Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, what was the NES version of it where you can have two-player simultaneous that you and Gentoo did? Oh, Netplay? Yeah, Netplay for the okay. Dolphin. Using that... <laughs> Meh. Oh, snap. <laughs> like you unlocked the cage. Yeah. Hell, uh, what was it? Hell in a cage? Or Hell in a cell? Hell in a cell. A, yeah. I know that. That's a wrestling thing. Yeah. That sounds so disturbing, that sound that that thing is making. Yeah. It's like it's cussing at birdie language or something, or evil-looking, uh, egg-headed bird human. It probably uh, is because uh, when, when that one language, because when that one bird spoke to you in that shop at the beginning, it's speaking in uh, in birdies or okoes or whatever. The birdies, birdies. Yeah, Bill Roddy would be mad. I can't understand it. But what's it saying? There's no words on it. <laughs> it's got no words. I can't. What's it saying? Fuck it, we'll do it live! <laughs> no, I'll rot it and we'll do it live! <laughs> Next, to play us out, Sting from the Dead of Vietnam. I can't do it. That, that's not Sting. Where's Sting the wrestler at? Who is this guy? I used to think that when I first heard of Sting the singer. I go, wait, that's not Sting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no more airflow. Now everybody's gonna get hot and pissed. Yeah. That looks like a puzzle room. Right? <laughs> All those multicolored blocks. Whoa. What the heck? That didn't sound friendly. Animality. <laughs> Animality. Oh, Sable's about to come out. Oh, wait, no. That's... I guess that's a mini boss. It's Vince McMahon, damn it! Man, that's, uh, that's really on crap. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. Yeah, it is, but man, you're out of touch. I'm trying to put you out of your misery. Damn. Why'd you have Roman Reigns beat the Undertaker? Ah! <laughs> I know what you want better than you do. I know what the fans want. I know what they need. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> right. Okay, this battle right here reminds me of the fan Phantom Ganon in Ocarina of Time. Because you got to look all around you and see which way is going to come at you next. <laughs> Nintendo, you're not reusing ideas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. A dang old lizard man. Yeah. With wings? Like, what is he? Is he a dragon oh. lizard? I think so. I guess I so, that. yeah. I think it's so obvious that uh, that shield it has, you use your uh, claw shot on it. 
<laughs> the big red hit me here. Poof. All right, good. That means we're halfway through the dungeon. Halfway? Yeah. Whoa, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Yep. No Bon Jovi. <laughs> Country, country version. Take my high end. We'll make it ice wire. Ice wire. <laughs> Living on a briar. <laughs> Living on a briar. Oh wait, I got the claw shot now. I thought I had it before. <laughs> Idiot. You got the double claw shot. Yeah. With well, the double claw. Oh, okay. Yes, one thing. Nice. Double the action. Double the claws. Dr. Claw, he's come back now with two claws. I guess I fail. <laughs> well, Dr. Claw is with us. Dr. Claw, are you there? <laughs> wow, do where are you, Dr. Claw? <laughs> I'll get you next time. I'll next get you time. next Rear. time, Ronnie. Rear. Damn, damn. Remember the last episode where they showed his face? Nope. I was kidding. I don't know. I, they show his face in the movie because the movie was not that good. In the video game, they just show him flying around in his chair after you. Wait, which wait, which video? Wait, he had a Super Nintendo game. Inspector Gadget. There's a video game Inspector Gadget, I think. Is it? Is it? Ge I think maybe Genesis. I don't know, but I think I seen a screen, uh, um, screenshot or footage of it a long time ago. And Doctor Claw's like, fly you never see his face, of course, but he's flying around in his chair, I guess, shooting at you. I don't know. Oh, that was Dr. Claw's pump and dump. Oh, yeah. Dump. Didn't they talk? <laughs> Remember that uh, AVGN episode of uh, the, yep. the Mario Brothers DVD and it showed up? Put the glow around my asshole. Put the glow around it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. I got watched that several times. <laughs> it's one of the most funniest. Uh, uh, was it James and Mike Mondays or whatever the heck they did? Yeah, I think it was that. Oh, I got the compass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> compass. Now yeah. you can know where all the other treasure chests are that you don't need except for the boss key. Yeah. All right. Let's see how good my aim is here. Is my aim true? No. Oh, there we go. Good job. Close enough. True, true, true craftsman. Yeah. Come on, get good. Yeah, reach for the reach for the sky. We are in the sky. That's what I say. Yeah, it's kind of reach an oxymoron. Like, sky. yeah, what, what happens if you're in the sky and you reach for the sky? Is that like you're just reaching for space now? Oh man, these flying uh plants. What the heck? Is Move, Ridley, you idiot. <laughs> it's a mini Ridley. Yeah. Whoa. That was Whoa. That was a close one. He was coming. Yeah. That's not yeah, freaky at all. This is yeah, no, it's freaking creepy. Like, what are you playing as Randy, Randy Orton here? You hearing voices in your head? <laughs> exactly. Randy Orton, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I wonder what the House of Horrors match is going to be like. I want to. I definitely want to check that out. Like the Chamber of Horrors from WCW. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, and I thought that was. I thought that was cool though during their match with those. They showed a, a, a shot of those maggots and uh, roaches, wherever they were in the middle of the ring. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was maggots, uh, earthworms, and then crickets. Yeah, but Peter Vansender said that was kind of dumb. I was like, that was. Pretty cool, actually. I mean, yeah, exactly. If it's his character and he's freaking creepy, and when I first seen that, I'm like, what the, what? I didn't know he was still looking at the ring. I thought they were yeah. had a like a video package playing or something, something creepy. And no, that's the ring. I'm like, what? And apparently yeah. they say you couldn't see it on TV, but one of the, one of the guys from PW Insider was there live, and they said the ramp was the rampway was filled with maggots and all that stuff too from the the image. Oh yeah. That was cool. Maggot Man, a new Mega Man character. But he turns to a fly. That's his power. <laughs> yeah. Make no, it fun. 
Oh, here we go. There you go. Mind the gap. Yep. You gotta fill the gap. Speaking of gap, who's gonna fill the gap? And the Undertaker gone now. Nobody. I don't know. <laughs> he just jumped outside. <laughs> Stupid jelly. You jelly? Yeah. Speaking of Zelda and speaking of Breath of the Wild, I've been so sidetracked with other games lately, I haven't even went back to start playing it again. I don't know when I'll be able to, I don't know when I'll get back to it, probably at some point, but yeah. Time to switch things up. Yeah, exactly. You gotta beeline just to beat the story at least, you know? Yeah. So it happens when you only have a few games and you need to play them. Yeah, t I think Tim's already beat it. Because Tibbs has things, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he has things. I was gonna say he has nothing to do, but I don't know his life, so. <laughs> well, he works. I mean, I work too, but it depends on the work. <laughs> you know, That's true. I'm not used my to previous it. job. My previous job, I worked a second shift, and anytime nobody was around, if I had all of my stuff done, I'd either break out my 3ds or my. PS Vita and listen to some podcasts and game some and be away from where nobody could see me. <laughs> yeah. That's neat. I wish I could do that at my job. Sure you can. Just do nothing. Just do it. Yeah. I don't it. really feel like it. Do it. Uh, you want can to we make this a, a job podcast? Can, can we I get can... a job podcast now? <laughs> we did that. Oh, man, can we make this right now? <laughs> Forget I guess, Zelda. I guess so, kind of, yeah. Nah. Pass the things time, I got to talk about. Left. Yeah, we still got plenty. I mean, you're just scaling up this place to get to your next objective. Yeah, believe me, this is a lot longer before I actually trimmed it down. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, but maybe I can give somebody a side of ranch while they're waiting, and uh, I want my yeah. steaks well, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I could. For the side of I want to imagine dealing orange. with... Yeah, I want to imagine <laughs> dealing with customers in text Tejas. Yeah, Tejas, yeah. Well, someone, you can tell someone's from, um, well, I know you're from the north, we guy, but uh, mm -hmm. down here we have, you know, quesadillas, and these these guys came in saying, uh, do you have any quesadillas? Quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sir. You got them quesadillas up there. Yeah. I want some sweet tea. With my oh, cure, sweet tea. With my cures light. Now, now that's just idiotic. <laughs> Be like, of, shut up. A, a Speak a like a normal person. Yeah, it's not a ranch place. Whoa, he's an angry customer. I didn't get my ranch. I shut up. <laughs> I'm going to eat your head. There goes my tip. Yeah, my ranch. I'm going to bite oh, your yeah, tip that's off. Right. I'm going to tip a piece of heart. Don't get tipped off your chair. <laughs> uh, here he goes. Nice uh, Indiana Jones action here. Indiana Jones beats Zelda. Da, da, da. Which, by the way, I saw that it's an old uh, James and Mike Monday or whatever it was, uh, and they had that guy Ryan with them. I forgot. I don't know. It was Proto, not Proto John. Some guy named Ryan that appears in their videos sometimes and sits down with them. Um, he, they were playing Indiana Jones for the '64, and it looked terrible. Oh yeah, the Infernal Machine. I think so, and they, they, you can tell it kind of rip off some aspects of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that was like a 2001 game, like 2000. Yeah, well, it had to be somewhere around there in '64. Uh, I thought that was a game people liked. Uh, well, I mean, I watched them play it. It didn't. Look, it looked. It looked bad, and uh, yeah, it, it, the, the way the buttons were set up at the top right corner, and the way uh, uh, Indy would uh, push the blocks or pull them out, it looked real similar to Ocarina of Time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm the wrong mower. I gotta mow this grass. Well, not really mow it. Cut it. <laughs> gotta cut it. Like All a right, boss. Part. So we're close to the end. It's the Great Deku Tree. Oh, wait. It is a great tree. Yeah. Is it the tree from George Mask? No. There's nice. no tree. Got yeah, the oh, very yeah, end. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Nice. All right. Another pole. I drive soul pole. I drive soul pole. I mean, always. I, I forgot the lyrics. Points for reference. Mm. Whoa, there he is. 
Steroid Ridley again. Nice, nice sweeping camera angle. Yeah. Majestic. Yeah. What is this, American Beauty? American Woman! Let me be! American males. American males. American males. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't even understand the rest of the lyrics. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Dumbass tag team. Yep. Mm, American no males. And they've won the tag team titles in the Harlem Heat the first night. That was BS. Really? I think it was a, they, their debut on Nitro that, that they beat Harlem Heat. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Perk T's like, we're coming for you. No yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me tell you something. And Stevie Ray, let me tell you something, sucker. You little pip squeak, Chris Benoit. I was more of a WWF guy then. I never really watched too much of WCW. I mean, when Raw was on commercial breaks, I would go and check it out and see what was happening, but I kind of check that out on the WWE Network now and see how it was whatever I, I never saw back in the day you're watching those first episodes of Raw right from 93 uh, I was I think I'm on um, 94 now okay so you must have seen that one episode where Rod Bartley the commentators with him in the beginning um, he was he did an impression of McMahon that one week yeah I remember that that was hilarious <laughs> Hi, Mr. Man, welcome to Monday Night Raw. He sounds just like him, too. Hello, yeah. Mr. Man, hold on, what am I, what am I over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Bobby Heenan goes, uh, he goes, welcome to Monday Night Raw. And Heenan, Heenan goes, Where, what is this? Monday Night Raw. <laughs> what about that was? We're here live in New York City on the WF Monday Night Raw. Some live action here in Arena. <laughs> I laughed so hard. <laughs> what about number that was? Oh, down to the campus. <laughs> Welcome everyone to this two game show, the last episode of Twilight Princess. I'm here with the wee guy and Raven Inspector. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? We got. What are your thoughts on this game, uh, brother GameCube? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's all. That's all oh, oh, wait a minute. Here's the wolf looking now. <laughs> I want to move her that was going to the tightrope. <laughs> what do you think about that, Spectre? Hopefully uh, he doesn't straddle it. He doesn't want to crush his little nuts. <laughs> and the king. Shut up, man. Your toupee's receding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your toupee's getting receding hair like McMahon. <laughs> huh? No, Jerry Waller just... would talk like his underwear was on too tight sometimes, especially the way he would laugh. Yeah, get Ventura on there. <laughs> Shut up, McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> He's what do you say about that, Ventura? Shut up, McMahon. Put on your toupee and shut up. And hey, McMahon do that fake laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Savage, do we got a problem? <laughs> Chips. <sighs> what a crowd we got here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Wipe the energy out of them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you cannot do that. That um, unless you're the Undertaker, you cannot walk on those ropes there as Link. Walk the line. Yeah. There's a fine line between love and hate. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I never knew it was a movie. Yeah, Martin Lawrence. I don't think you ever line? seen it. Actually, I just uh, seen the trailer four years ago. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Is that where I need to be at right there? Hang in there, Link. Oh, nope. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Get over there. This music can put me to sleep. Here we go again. Hearing uh, Randy Orton voices. I hear voices in my head. They That's count. okay. <laughs> they talk to May. Talk, talk to May. They talk to May Young. They talk to May. Yeah. It's still real to May. All right. Get on in there. Get that key. Let's get to that boss. Yes. 
Let's Holy to... crap. I just found out something about uh, uh, the Breath of the Wild, as a matter of fact. There was this video that uh, GameSpot had put out that was talking about how to pilot a Guardian. And looking at it, you were like, oh, wow, I, I really do need to try that out. Turns out it was just an April Fool's video. You can't actually pilot a Guardian. And I was like, holy freaking crap, they pulled the wool over my eyes. Oh, man. I cannot believe that. Um, I think we got to remember, again. I think we got to remember this. My uh, Ocarina Tom April Fool's joke in 2011. I, I told uh, people, I was like, I just found this secret spiritual stone. After all these years, there's a secret spiritual stone. Here it is. Thanks to X1 Saint for his help. And in the video, it shows Link holding up the what you might think is the Kokiri stone. But instead, it says ECW. And it, it says, you got the spiritual stone of ECW. <laughs> then after that, I said April Fool's. And I think Jinchu's girlfriend got mad. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, what was it? Uh, it was X1 Saint that did the, the video editing for me where it shows the letters glowing above Link's head and the camera. Dun, 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 dun. You got the spiritual stone of ECW. And then right when DQ Tree's about to talk to you, that's when it cuts away and, and I put April Fools. Man, that's so. Man, 2011, that was how long it was. Yep. Oh, I got the boss key. The boss key of the Sasha Banks key. <laughs> uh, I got the armor of ECW on. Ouch. <clears throat> N never mind. Let's switch back to this. <laughs> dee 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 dee. Oh, stop him in his tracks. Oh, he's charging hey. my eyes! Oh, stop him in his tracks! What a maneuver! <sighs> what a maneuver! It, it sucks so much, he should be stuck in manure. Look at what a Monday Night Raw! We're playing us out of Twilight Princess here! What a maneuver! Can he save Hyrule from the evil Ganondorf? Get it through the hole! Get it through the hole! When I was a kid, I, th I think a lot of kids were the same way. I had no idea Vince McMahon was the actual owner. I thought he was just a commentator. Yeah, same here. He's just a commentator. <laughs> He's a potator commentator. Remember that when JR turned heel and he brought the fake Razor Ramon and Diesel into the company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. What do you think that, that, about that, Vince? And that's when he first mentioned he was the owner. Like, whoa, he's, he's his boss? Wait a minute. I thought, like, Jack Tunney was the boss of something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was the or president. Grill Monsoon at the time. Yeah, storyline presidents um, to Jack Tunney, then Grill Monsoon, then Piper for a bit. With that feud with Goldust. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was a match. O.J. Simpson footage. <laughs> that high-speed chase. Yeah, oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. We got footage. Of Piper's Bronco chasing gold dust in the highway, and they showed it. It was the O.J. Simpson high-speed chase footage. <laughs> and McMahon goes, "This footage looks awfully familiar." <laughs> <laughs> the juice is loose. We got live aerial footage. Piper's going after him. He's not loose anymore. <laughs> yeah. Will Link be able to aim at this thing? Come on. Ah, oh, come on now. Well, he's not exactly Rambo there. Oh, there he goes. Got him right in the booty hole. Right between the eyes. Oh, there we go. Nice angle. Yeah, speaking of angle, current angle in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Indeed. We got indirectly led me to a uh, uh, wrestling subject. Or another reference. Uh, reference, yeah. You can't have a Raw more video without a wrestling reference. I'm right here on Raw. <laughs> Kurt Angle, more like Kurt, get off my angle. I don't know. There was a shirt that said uh, right angle, triangle, acute angle, and then Kurt Angle and had so Kurt Angle put someone ankle lock. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, more camera angles showing us where we need to go, way down here. 
all these angles. Yep. I'm just a sexy Kurt. Sexy, sexy Kurt. I'll make your ankle, ankle hurt. Ankle hurt. Ankle hurt. <laughs> Come on now. Jeez, man, get punched two of these guys now. Metroid meets Zelda. Come her. Damn. Jeez, how many hits? Vicious. Sid vicious. Another Russian reference. Remember that promo wrestling you hate? You know, Sid Vicious about to wrestle Hogan. Gene you know, Oakland was interviewing him. Sid, tonight you're going to get. Shut up! You fat, bald headed little oaf! <laughs> this is Hogan's last match! Actually, Sid, uh, he never said that. Let's take a look at this footage. And they showed it. And, it, and they cut back to Sid laughing hysterically. And Gene Oakland goes, See, Sid, he never said he's going to retire. He's just like, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Psycho Sid. Because you see, <laughs> I rule the world. And tonight, mm. I'm going to choke slam you. Straight to hell! <laughs> <laughs> Just crazy. When he wasn't botching his interviews, he was pretty good. Yeah. That time when he thought he was being recorded, he goes, hold on, start that over. JR goes, we're live, buddy. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And one time he goes, uh, Nash, I, you know that I don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> and Scott Hall and Nash had that look in their face like, what? <laughs> 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 Oh, my I, God, I, I remember I that. I kind of tweeted that. I made that reference to Sid on Twitter one time. He didn't respond. He probably didn't like it. I, uh, <laughs> he, he, he said, uh, all these trolls and haters, you know, I need to F off and I tweeted him saying, man, ignore the pros. They don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> he didn't respond. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> He's going to cut a promo. <laughs> Listen here, Ron Blower. I'll choke slam you straight to hell, funny man. <laughs> Actually, he scared me more than the Undertaker did. He was more scarier to me because he's big, muscular, and just yells all the time. And then I told him that. I said, you actually scared me more than Undertaker did on Twitter. He actually favorited that and retweeted it. And I was like, oh, cool. Oh, geez, how, how much more claw-shotting, uh, scaling I got to do here? <laughs> well, I mean, it's the weapon of the, the temple, so, I mean, it's all you're going to use. The Temple of Doom? Yes. That should be a Temple of Doom, that, w that WCW tag team. Remember them, Spectre? Spectre oh, no, never Gadget? Mind. No, never mind. You watched uh, WWF back then. This is like 1990. Yeah, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed. Managed by Teddy Long, the tag team of Doom. What are you doing here, Link? Yeah, I'm going to reach all the way over there. Come on, faster, faster. We need another master. Oh, here we are. Oh, man. The battlefield. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, Battlefield Coliseum. Oh. Yes. Oh, wait, exactly. yeah, I actually saw this, this fight on Twitch like some odd days ago. I remember this. Here we go. Super Ridley. And Argo Rock. Do you smell what the Argo Rock is cooking? Hmm. 
Or go, or stay, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Into the fire. Into the fire. I'm trying to remember exactly, like, I think I got to climb on top of him and hit him on his back or something. If only Tibbs were here, because he knows everything about Zelda. Sure does. Yes, just do that and then, oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah, weigh him down. I think it took me a while to figure out. I think someone had to tell me what to do. Yeah, this guy isn't that clear, especially with having to use the iron boots. Yeah. Reminds me of pilot wings here. <laughs> just right, come around. on, let's... Yeah, where's our where's our jetpack? Yeah, pilot wings 64, the gray sky version. GameCube version, more like it. Blue skies from pain. Was that Pink Floyd? Yeah. Yes, I knew it. I know my Pink Floyd. How I wish. How I wish you were her. Hey now. Ooh, obvious, nice purple tongue. Obvious clue. How to hit him. I think I made him mad. Oh, now he's in aggro mode. Yep. Now you made him mad. Look what you did. What is going on here? I gotta fight these things too. They live. Yep. Thank you, Roddy Piper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I guess they're here to help. This part's so cool. Look at this. Just a, This is like a Castlevania battle, rather. Like, you're fighting Dracula and then lightning everywhere, storms or whatever. They should have pilot wings uh, in 64. They should have had a, a version, like, you know, there's a gray sky, then nighttime, then clear blue sky. They should, have a yeah, and where, they should have a version where it's storming. Yeah, and then there's Grey Skull. Grey Skull. Yeah. Ca Castle Grey Skull. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit tricky unless I do it right. Shoot, shoot. Go, go, go. I choo 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 you. Look in the tongue. I think Spectre is looking up a tutorial on how to beat this guy right now. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh, he's going on the back! He's on the back of that dragon! This is a very dangerous maneuver! Jump up to the top, jump oh. on his back, stab him in the booty, fall to the floor. Shut up, man! What do you know about Zelda? Hey, I know as much as Michael Cole does about, uh... Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Boy, I laughed when he said that. Oh, you know I know some Final Fantasy. I'm like, you're a freaking moron, Michael Cole. This is a real cool battle right here. It's probably the best battle in the game. I do like it. It uses up a lot of space in the sky. Yeah. You have to travel. Oh. Yeah. Damn. This flesh is weird. <laughs> One more round of this should do it. All right, round three. It's the usual triple deal when it comes to bosses. Yeah. Mm. Triple deal. Have the triple double, please. Yeah, triple dipper. Yeah, that's a Taco Bell item right now. Not trying to still be sponsored by Taco Bell, just saying. Yeah. You make enough money through la stream labs. <laughs> Not even. Should they take an extra twenty-four dollars out? But anyway. Well, you know. As is that way. It didn't do it this time, though. The, oh, ah! Oh, ouch. It didn't did this time, though. That second donation I made to you, it did not take out the extra $24. It, 
I was really watching it carefully that time. I don't know what I did wrong on my end or what happened, but that was messed up the first time. Yeah. I'm like, I donated $10 to we got. What is this BS extra $24 charge? Yeah, do you ever get an actual response of what that was, or was it just... They were nope. just like, oh, we're sorry. No, they just refunded the money without even explaining what happened, which I don't care as long as they get my money back. I don't care. Alrighty. That's why I was reluctant. I, was like, I don't know if I should donate again because I'm afraid I'm going to get burned <laughs> like Link is getting burned right here. Uh, uh. Speaking of which, speaking of the whole refund deal, as a matter of fact, my girlfriend was waiting to get uh, Hyrule Warriors on 3DS for like the past week and she never got it. And she found out that the guy who was on there on Amazon apparently just up and left. So she contacted Amazon about it and, I, and they're going to refund her the money. And I think they said they were willing to, to for her to trade back in and get double of what she paid for or something like that. I was like, that's a that's a real screw job right there. If somebody goes on Amazon and does that to someone. Yeah. That's why I try to be careful and look at their approval ratings and. Yeah. Know. Yeah. We got the approval rating is low. That's why I, I don't donate much to him anymore. No, I'm just kidding. You're the only one that said that's ever happened to. Yeah, which I don't, again, I don't know what I could have done. No one knows what I could have done, like you or Jamie. Uh, you could donate to my Patreon. <laughs> no, I didn't instead. click on no Patreon. I clicked on uh, Twitch. No, I'm, I'm yeah. saying you donate to my Patreon instead. No. Much better. Oh. Yeah, Jeff <clears throat> donated a dollar to me, but it was weird and complicated. Oh, please verify this. And then, uh, I did verify my bank account. Well, we're missing this. I said, you know what, forget it. Yeah, like, forget it, boom, that's it, I've had enough. And so is this dragon, Panzer Dragon. Alright, you're dead, dragon. Panzer dead. Dragon. Panzer Dragon game. Yeah. One that isn't over $200 <laughs> on the freaking Sega Saturn or Xbox. <laughs> Saturn. Twas the Saturn. Oh, no. It's a Shouty 64 Dragon. Oh, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Shameless plug, uh, we got did a Shellgate uh, donation request. Check it out. Well, you did the donation request. I just fulfilled the, the game. You did the LP and also coming soon, Deja Vu. Oh, man. That's some, uh, speaking of Deja Vu, see that game again. <laughs> Shameless game plug. Familiar. Shameless plug, check out the 2013 LP on the S2K channel of Deja Vu. It's a good one. Yep. Oh, nice. We got all the shards now. No, that was like many parts ago. Uh, true ruler. Ah. Yeah, Spectre uh, Shad from, from Crime Time is in this game, apparently. Sweet. Yeah, one of the guys, one of the guys that Link's talk talks to, but he's remember that guy that looks like the gaming historian from that last part you ran with us. <laughs> His name is Shad. Mm. After all, fake is a fa well. Wrestling's not fake. Shut up. It's choreographed. Yeah, there's a difference. Indeed. We get the hot piece. I mean, hard container. Mm. Two more hearts to go. Just have a heart, change of heart. Alright, we are finally. Going right back here. to the Matrix. Yeah. As, as Tim said, I wonder if that hurts and, uh, all the mo molecules spreading out or whatever. <laughs> whatever Probably. It, is it just gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> so. That is the end of part 27, where Link is done with the city in the sky. And we'll see you guys in part 28. Until then, God bless and take care. Peace. Bye.